man in the saddle is a man who rides alone. He's a traveler and his journey never ends. Get along, old pie, there's a buzzard in the sky and the water holes far, far ahead. For this desert sand surely ain't the promised land and I wouldn't be found here dead. Oh, the man in the saddle Mr. Isham, you'll be late for your own wedding. a drink tonight. Boys, I'd like you all to shake hands with Faye Dutcher, Skull's new foreman. Well, I should sent all the way to Texas for him to run him out our outfit. Happy to meet you, folks. And with my boss getting married, this is going to be the biggest night this town has ever seen. So crowd around, everybody. we got to do something about it. Do something about it. The question is, what are you going to do about it, Owen? The Methodist minister is here. So I guess it'll be a proper wedding. The women have started crying already. What makes women cry at weddings? Yeah, what? You drunk yet, Owen? The bottle is still about half full. Oh, then you're sober. <laughs> I don't know where they hide or where they come from, but there's a lot of pretty girls in town. It takes a wedding to bring them out. Maybe it's hope. Antelope running pretty heavy over in Fremont Basin. Guess it's about time I had another look at that country. That's your trouble. Always taking another look at a piece of country. Just fiddle-footed. Smelling the wind for scent. So you lose your girl. To a man like Will Larsham. Now. Bottle's empty. Let's take a walk. What for? You're always taking a walk. Why? I'm tired of listening to long speeches. I ain't said nothing but a will. Owen, you and Prine and me are just small ranchers. Good neighbors. Never paid like Isham. But that's no reason we should always let him have his own way. He is. If Laura Bidding is my boys. girl. It's Skull's treat. I'll pay for my drinks. Me too. Why can I? They talk alike. What do you fellas got to get to Skull Ranch? So you're Faye Dutcher. I sure dress some fancy in Texas. I said, what have you fellas got against drinking on Skull? This is the Verd Boys, Duke and George. We work for Owen Merritt. He sits right over there. All right, I. That explained it. Don't explain nothing. Will Isham didn't have to send clean to Texas for just a range foreman. What are you, a professional gun hand? <laughs> Me, a gun hand? <laughs> I'm a cattleman, son. I just carry this thing because my old mother thought it looked pretty on me. Yeah, it was plenty fancy shooting I saw the way you knocked off that bottle. Just luck. Plain luck. I couldn't shoot my way out of a chicken coop.
lucky again. <laughs> this must be my lucky night. Juke. George. I'm glad to see you, because I want a word with you. You've got the floor. I want to know how you take this marriage. If there's going to be trouble between us, I'd like to know it now. Well, I congratulate you. You're sure? The luck is yours. No complaints. I want the truth. And I want everybody in this room to hear it. I want have rumors going around. I said I wish you luck, but I'll let it go at that. Let's drink on that. Gentlemen, this is on skull. The future Mrs. Isham. Her health and yours, Will. Excuse me, but I don't wish to appear before the bishop with liquor on me. Croker, I'm buying the house for the rest of the night. Mr. Dutcher already set him up at your expense. That's very generous of you. Good night. Wow, wow, so you're Owen Merritt. Genuine pleasure meeting you. This is kind of being our next door neighbor. Not quite next door. My ranch is in between. Is that so? Well, 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 well. Look at the groove, what ain't going to be. <laughs> you know, Lori's old man is out there bragging about his son-in-law already. You know, she see that old coot is well taken care of. You didn't have to do that. He's drunk, Owen. It's talk I don't like to hear from a drunk or from anybody else. You're likely to hear more than that. Take it easy. This is my job. On your feet, Bale. Now, get going. Head back to the ranch. Well, what did I do? Get. Hate to see a gent forget his manners. It does something to me. Must apologize for my man, neighbor. Have a drink? No, thanks. This is Will Isham's night, so drink up, folks. Will Isham had a reason for buying you a drink in front of that crowd. Peace and goodwill. Goodwill, my fat aunt's foot. You shouldn't have taken that drink. It ties your hands. How long are you going to let Isham crowd you? Excuse me, gentlemen. Look, that's Laura Bidwell's wedding bouquet. Now, if I was you and you was me, I'd mosey up them stairs. And if I was you and you was me, I'd get a rig and drive around the back and wait there for both of us. But I'm not you and you're not me. Owen, when I saw her earlier, she wasn't smiling. I tell you, Lars, heart's not in this wedding. Maybe, but her mind's made up. I'll meet you at the horses in five minutes, then we'll leave this town. Mike, what do you think of Owen Merritt? I don't like him. I never have. When I hear you don't like much of anybody, and nobody likes you either. Not worth the powder to blow you apart. Nobody in 500 miles stopped long enough to pick up the pieces. Still, I might have use for a lone wolf like you now and then. Just in case I don't get around to doing my own chores. sure you want her to. Why not? All right, Owen. Oh. 
Laura, are you sure it's got to be this way? Is that all you came to say? It's enough, isn't it? You're condemning me. No. You're the one that made the choice, not me. All I want to know is if you're sure. I've got to be sure, haven't I? Then I... I wish you luck. So long. Wait. You're coming to the wedding? No. Please. To make the record complete? Is it... Is it so hard to believe that I can still take an interest in you? Don't you understand that yet? I guess I do. You're an ambitious girl, Laura. You set your mind on certain things long ago. I couldn't break up that. I was ambitious for both of us. But there was a restlessness in you. I couldn't fight any longer. I got tired of waiting. I don't blame you. You always figured you could make your mind pull your heart along. I hope you can. I know what I'm doing, Owen. We always argued too much. That was one of our faults. Good night, Owen. Bye. It's time to go. I'm ready. You're a putty-headed fool. Shut up. Quite a party, boss, for this occasion. Here's to you and your bride. Why, thank you, Judge. Congratulations. Best of luck. Much happiness. Congratulations. Thank you, Judge. Thank you. There's enough champagne water there to drown a horse. Mr. Isham had it shipped all the way from San Francisco. Won't you have some? I don't drink. Dan, can I see you home from the party? Another night. Oh, you got a date? No, but after helping Lori with their wedding all day, I'm about run down. I wouldn't be good company for anyone. Oh, I wouldn't care. Why can't we be friends like everyone else, Nan? I hope we'll always be friends, Hugh. Oh, you don't fool me. Why don't you ever smile at me, Nan? You know, sometimes I come out of the hills and stand near your cabin and watch the light. Sometimes I come close to the door. I'm telling you, Nan, you don't know what I feel inside. I'd tear off my arms. I'd burn Spring Rock down to ashes for you if you wanted it. There isn't anything I wouldn't do for you, anything. Hugh. Anything. Hugh. All right, then. There's the dance on Saturday night. Yes. Yes, I'll call for you. Now, if you'll excuse me. We Ashams are going to show you all just what luxury living is. We're going to open the doors of Skull and ask you all to come in and eat drink the finest food and liquor that money can buy. <laughs> That's a very hospitable proposal, Dad. I'm sure my husband would be happy to second it. Why, of course. Congratulations again. I lost me a daughter, and I got me a son. <laughs> Dad, you must be tired. Wouldn't you like to go to your room? Excuse us, please. Thank you, Shum. I'd like to talk to you in the study. Hmm? outside. What for? Get on your horse and leave. No, look -a here. Now you look -a here. I'm not going to have you panhandling off a skull. You, you, you'd send me away? My own daughter? I'm now Will Isham's wife, and you're not going to keep me from having the respect and dignity that he expects me to have. After all I've done for you, the way I raised you. The way you raised me? I saw Mother work like a horse to keep us alive. Saw her die, out of shame, mostly. 
Well, what'll I do, daughter? Where'll I go? Go back south where you used to live. You won't starve. I'll send you money, but you've got to stay away from Skull and from Will Isham. I've got a chance to be something the Bidwells never were. And you're not going to ruin it. Goodbye, Dad. Faye, would you like some brandy? I don't drink. I'm going to buy your ranch tonight. You aiming to threaten me, Will? If you are, I'm too grown up to scare. <laughs> I'm going to make it so worthwhile you can't afford not to sell. I'll give you $50,000 cash. <laughs> it ain't worth none of that. There's a small lake or water hole that straddles your land and mine. Well, what of it? There's more than enough water there for both our herds. You don't get the idea. I'd only own half a lake. I never own half of anything Lancashire. I own it all, lock, stock, and barrel. That goes for anything. Whatever I have is mine and mine alone. I'll share with no one. You're a strange man to figure, Will. But I reckon you can't be beat. I'll sell. If a man like Owen Merritt wouldn't fight for what belonged to him, I reckon I'm too old to try. What belonged to him, Pay? Pay, you're my guest, and I'll say nothing. But when you ride off Skull tonight, don't ever come back on my land again. I'll pick up the papers at the bank in the morning and give you your money. What happened to your father? He's going away on a trip. He won't be back to Skull. You're a smart woman, Laurie. I was very pleased. You got tact. You know how to handle people, make them feel good. Thank you. That's what you want. What is it you want, Laurie? Nothing more than I'm getting now. You know my family, what I came from. I'm grateful to you, Will. And I'll never let you down on my part of the bargain, not ever. Remember that. I'll play the part you want me to play. Is it nothing more than a bargain with you, Laurie? Nothing more? Did I ever give you the impression it would be otherwise? No, I'll give you credit, you didn't. Good night, Laurie. Good night, Will. yourself to the whiskey. Thanks, boss. It's to you. Well, what about it? Skull is now up against Owen Merritt's line. What's wrong with that? In spite of what he said tonight, you don't trust Merritt with a hoot, do you? No, and I never will. Well, in that case, I better get on with what I came here for. Because the longer I put it off, the longer he'll be standing on those stairs between you and her.
Vince Hallett book. Looks like this year, you doesn't head up on me. Is that right? The way prices are, reckon we both ought to do all right when we get this batch to market. When do you figure we ought to move them, Owen? Uh, look, the rest of the outfit just showed up. Hello, Nan. Your herd is sure getting big. This year, I have ten head. Howdy, partner. Need an extra hand, mister? Sure, if you can cook better than cold as Charlie. <laughs> Almost anybody can do that. <laughs> Hello, Charlie. Hello. Is he still making you sing for your supper? Sure is, now. Howdy, Nan. Hello, George. All set for the big cattle drive? Sure am. How many head you shipping this year? Six? I've got ten. <laughs> and you just see that nothing happens to those steer. They're the best beef in this section. Practically hand-fed. Well, I'll be doggone. And here I always thought they only ate grass. <laughs> coffee? Hot coffee. Mm, that sounds wonderful. Say, what happened to the cookies you made at the ranch, Charlie? I don't know what happened. I feed the pigs. Pigs get sick. <laughs> As a cook, Charlie, I bet you're a whiz at baking dobe bricks. <laughs> yeah. What's the matter, Juke? Something wrong? Yipe! Say, what is this, anyway? Coffee. Good coffee. I doubt that. Charlie uses gunpowder instead of coffee. Pretty soon your head blows off. <laughs> I know. Mine just passed the moon. <laughs> Doesn't seem to bother Charlie. Charlie, no fool. Charlie drinks tea. <laughs> hey, you two cut out the horseplay and pick up those strays. Sure, sure boss. boss. Anything, Anything you, you say, say, boss. Right, right away, away boss. boss. And don't call me boss. All right, boss. boss. <laughs> Where's Pay Lankerton? He ain't shipping with us. We've been bunching our herds for years. No more. Pay sold out to Will Isham. Everything. That makes Skull your neighbor now. Yeah. Stay away from trouble, Owen. It comes easy to you. And it'll come still easier because you're in a frame of mind to have some. Besides, it's always been a great comfort to me at night to look across the desert and see your light shining on the hill. I hope I'll see it there always. It'll be there. There's no woman in the world worth tearing yourself apart for. And you'd better take care of my cattle. Is a man who rides alone far away from the bunkhouse and his friends. And the horse he's a straddle is all he'll ever own. He's a traveler and his journey never ends. Get along, old pie, there's a buzzard in the sky. Shake your tail, shake your tail, shake your tail. For this desert sand surely ain't the promised land, and I wouldn't be found here dead. Oh, the man in the saddle is a man who rides alone far away from the gal he left behind. Gotta ride, ride, ride till we cross the great divide. And 
we come to the end of the trail. Cattle are restless, getting pretty spooky. Bad smell in the wind. Couldn't be your cooking. We'll be moving out around four. Hitch up and have Chuck ready for us at the springs by daybreak. If I catch you under my hat again, I'll plug you. Or worse, make you drink your own coffee. Don't you think that I need a new hat? No. The hat needs a new head. And weren't you told to hook up the horses?
Duke. Duke! Owen! Owen! Duke. Stampede running down. Yeah, after he was shot in the back of the head. Charlie got a blanket. Yes. My brother did. Who are they, Owen, you know? Couldn't tell. Duke know it. You got nothing to say, Owen? There's only one bunch had a reason to do this. If Skull got Duke, they did it to get me. They knew how close we were. Then wake up. Quit mooning over Laurie. You know just as well as I do that Will Isham can't bear to have anything stand in his way. You do. Don't tell me, Bale. Clay and the shoe of your horse out there comes from only one place, Coral Flats. Well, well, Mr. Merritt. Come in, come in. I was thinking about you. These boys are just getting set for a little celebration after what they did tonight. I was about to oblige them with some good, clean fun, but I don't think they like the odds now. Tell you what, Owen. You and me don't want to spoil anything, so let's you and me go down the street and have a drink. George and I will go down the street and have a drink. Come on, George. Oh, don't be like that, Owen. My motto is... Never interfere when a man's out for some good, clean fun and enjoyment. No, just shoot him in the back of the head like you got my brother, Juke. Skull hands wouldn't shoot anybody. They're cattlemen, like Mr. Dutcher. He couldn't shoot his way out of a chicken coop. <laughs> 
I've had enough of his talk. What's it going to be, Faye? Yeah, what? Let's find out. You're all standing around here braced for a fight. Which one of you was going to handle George or was it the whole bunch of you? Sure, the whole bunch, skull style. A wolf pack on one man like they got my brother, Juke. All right, man, scratch for it. Killed a poor kid like Juke who never did nothing to nobody. started it. I can sleep a little better now. Sort of takes care of you. You I was riding your way. Glad I saved you the trip. Hello, Laurie. Hello, Owen. I'll be with Mrs. Keenan. She wants to fit my new dress. Well. I want a word with you. What are you so jumpy about? Do you want trouble with me? I've been having trouble with you. But from now on, you're going to have trouble with me. Is that an offer, Owen? Yeah, it's an offer. Merritt. I'll tell you something. I've never liked you, your manners, or your style. I'm thinking about something, and you know what it is. What belongs to me is mine, entirely mine, do you hear? So stay away. Stay away from everything that belongs to me. Just make sure that you hang on to what belongs to you. One horse is coming. Better drop that cigarette. The house is all lit up. You're pretty jumpy. Yeah. Yeah, I am. I feel it. Close. Like a man feels when a gun's pointing at him, even when he can't see it. seen anything tonight, George. Sure. Not a very good place for you to be, Laurie. I know. I had to see you. May I sit down? Please do. What are you thinking? Things I shouldn't. I was afraid you would. I'm 
afraid you wouldn't, too. What was it you came here to say? It's my husband. His pride is terribly strong. It makes him wonder if I still feel about you as I once did. Do you? Oh, and the skull's too big. Too big for you to fight alone. There's nothing else to do. Sell out the wheel. Leave the country. No, Laurie. I thought I could make you see it. You doubted that I could make my mind pull my heart along. You're right, Owen. I can't. I'm sorry. Sometimes ambition can be bad for people. It can hurt them so much. Now there may be more bloodshed. All because of me. You say you won't run away, Owen. But if I break my bargain with Will and run away with you, then would you leave? You'd go that far for me? I would. I'll be here tomorrow night. Seen George? No. He's not here. He don't feel sleep. He going out to see the cattle. Oh. He told me not to tell. Yeah? Yes. I better go look for him. Everybody go away. I have to stay here. I don't like this place. Spooky, Charlie? Like a long time ago, when Chief Eglin, he come through with his careers. I had a bad feelings like I have now. I hear the trees talk. I hear the water talks. It's not good. Keep away from that vanilla extract. What do you mean? Go out that light. For horses. Rise and shine, you lunkhead.
going to shoot. I was just thinking, Charlie, when I pull this trigger, I'll be shooting Christmas Creek Ranch right out from under me. I'll start a run and jump fight. Well, sitting on my porch night after night was getting dull anyway. What are you shooting at this hour of the morning all by yourself? joke? No joke, Rep. You know I can shoot straighter than that. Someone from Skull got one of my men last night. Who was it? I don't know. Who was it, Rep? You're wrong, Merritt. None of us shot George Bird. Rep, how did you know it was Bird? I just thought that... <laughs> Think faster, Rep. Send him out or I'll shoot to kill. Oh, Merritt! Merritt! Listen, listen! No time for talk. the whole army. Charlie, get word to Ms. Isham that I won't be around for a few days. He just shot us all up. He knows about George Verd, too. Well, Dutcher, are you gonna let him get away with this?
Muy chulo, el señor Melo Rancho. ¿Puedes saddle mi horse, por favor? Yes. You gotta find him. What are you doing? Paying them back for what they did to our line cabin this morning. Get up. Why don't you grow up? Oh, just when I was having a little fun. This is no time for kids' games. Someone is coming. You and your shoe. May sting. Yeah, put some inside of you too. You'll hate that. <coughs> Feel better? Mm-hmm. Mm. My favorite pair. Owen. Why don't you go back to your place tonight? I got to thinking, man can't run all the time. Has to fight sooner or later. Nan, thanks for everything, but I gotta get out of here or you'll be in a mess of trouble. You can't. Come on. Sit back, you've lost a lot of blood. That's better. Stop trying to be a hero and get some rest. Reach up the buckboard. I'm taking Miss Nan to the dance. up the buckboard. No buckboard. Well, Nan? No, Nan. We had a date for the dance tonight. She couldn't have forgot. I've been counting on it all week. She promised. Bandages. Owen Merritt was shot last night. He came here, didn't he? She's gone off with him. I don't ask for much. 
take her to a dance, be with her once in a while. Merritt doesn't love her, but it don't make no difference to her. She'd run off with him, she'd do anything he asks. I ought to kill both of them. Where are they? Where are they? Where are they? I'll find them. I'll find them. I'll find them. You stay here and make sure Mrs. Isham doesn't leave the house. We're ready to start after merit, Mr. Isham. Will! I've never seen in you the desire to destroy, to kill. Have I killed? Your men have. You hired them and you... you supported them. Owen Merritt killed one of my men, and I suppose that's all right. If you'd have been in his place, what would you have done? I'm not in his place. Suppose you'd known before our marriage that I meant to go after Merritt. Would you have married me? What a brutal question. Thanks for the compliment. Remember, watch her like I told you. You don't like coffee? <laughs> I knew this stuff was good for something. Look, boot polish. Hey, Charlie, you've been around this country a thousand years or so. What kind of scout are you? How good are you at tracking? My father was good. Oh, but your father's dead. What's he got to do with it? I am much better. Well, then, get on that trail and find Owen Merritt fast. You men see anything of a buckboard going by here? Yeah. Which way'd they go? They went up into the mountains. How long ago? Three days ago. Thank you. You gotta stay here, Miss Isham. Get away, Rep. Sorry, but I can't. Get out of my way. Aw, oh, put that silly little thing away. Rep, I've used a gun for years, and I could tear your collarbone to pieces before you moved. We'll see about this, ma'am. Take off your hat. Walk in front of me, and run when I tell you to run. Well, I ain't taking orders from no lady. I'm not a lady, Rep. I'm the Bidwell girl, and I was raised among harder men than you think you are. Now get in front of me. And if you stop before I tell you to, I'll shoot you. Come on. Thank you. 
Maybe we can be leaving here soon. I could use a razor if I had one. Sounds like a coyote going through a dry brook. <laughs> it's good to hear you laugh. There hasn't been much to laugh about. Yeah. Wish I could thank your grandfather for this hideout. He built it when they first came to this country. It was a place of safety against Indian raids. I'll take the Indians to Skull any day. <laughs> Owen, what are you going to do now? The problem hasn't changed. So you're not going to run? You want me to? No, even if I did, you wouldn't. I know you too well for that. You stay and fight. I don't know how you do it, but you'll do it somehow. But what about you? By now, everybody must know you with me. I don't care. It's been worth it. I never had a man to boss before. Nan, whatever happens, the past few days balance for everything. That's the way I feel. I'd better get these dishes washed. Cheap woman. Cheap woman. Don't try it, Mary. I want to smash your face in running off with this fiddle foot like that. What's aching you, Clyde? Give me that gun, man. Get back over there. Put your hands behind you, both of you. Come on, get back over there. Not too close together. What's the matter with you? You've gone crazy. Maybe I have. Merritt, you get everything your own way. You could have Lori Eisen by lifting your finger if you wanted. Now, Nan, what's the difference between you and me? I'd claw down the hills for a kind look from that girl, but I'd never get it, not in a thousand years. And you'd cheat for this man. Do just what he wanted. Pull up, Clay. Pull up. Pull up. Pull up. You two are fooling yourselves. And I'm going to end it.
I could kill him. I know. It's what he said, what he said about you. But it's wrong. I don't want you to kill anybody. Let's get started. She got away, but I told you not to you let her out of... You didn't tell me she had a gun and knew how to use it. Look at that. That ain't all. My feet. Where'd she go? I don't know, but she sure went fast. They're looking for you. Looks like you met up with a mountain lion. Maybe two. He's still looking for Merritt? Oh, so that's it. He chored you. Where is Merritt? Hold up in an old hideout in Rock Canyon near the falls. He's probably gone by now, but he'll be easy to trail. He's got a woman with him. What woman, Tag? What woman? Who do you think? The one woman in this country who double-crossed her own soul to save Merritt's life. You're too free with your tongue, Clegg. No man talks about my wife. It's the woman you were thinking of. Wasn't your wife? Don't just stand there. Get your horses. We're going to Rock Canyon. Outfit hunting the hills, this would be a good time to go to Isham's ranch and take it apart. No. Because Laurie's there. It'd serve Isham right if you walked in and took her away from him while he's gone. You could do it, you know. I have other plans. Owen, you won't be needing me anymore. I'm going home. Dan, wait. Goodbye, everybody. Good luck, Owen. Talk to you. Well, I'll be doggone. Maybe the wind's changing. Maybe it's going to blow in a different direction. Well, we're going to take on Skull in a run and jump fight. Not that kind of a fight. There'll never be peace that way. Peace? The only peace you'll ever get from Isham is rest in peace. Shooting's better. And the Skull's so big. So is the steer big. When you're going to eat him, you first have to cut him up in little pieces. I don't care what you want, Mr. Isham. We've been in the saddle for six hours, and we're going to stop and stretch our legs. We can't stop now, when we may be close. You know, Mr. Isham, when you're hunting a man that can shoot like Owen Merritt, go losing your head, and you might lose your head. Have a drink. Thanks. Sure could go for a shot of something stronger than water. So could I. Oh, I just remembered. I got to go fix a stirrup strap. Don't move around. I might miss in the dark. And I don't like that. You fellas were only fooling. You wouldn't do this to me, would you? Yeah, we wouldn't do it to you. We just wanted you to talk, but things seem to have got out of hand. 
We didn't know the Verd brothers were such good friends with these people. Uh, I didn't do nothing to the Verd boys. Tell them. Tell them. Tell us, Charlie. We think you're going too far, maybe. Maybe. I can't throw closer. <laughs> you see, Rap, it's no use. We three can't fight the whole bunch in their end of the town. That's right, Rep. I can't stop Charlie. Stop him. Stop him. Please stop him. <laughs> He's a yellow coward. Pay that you killed your bird, neither the stampede. You killed your bird? No, no, I didn't. That you did that too. Tell the truth, Rep. Will Isham gave orders for both killings, didn't he? I don't know nothing about that. None of the crew knew Dutcher was going to kill them fellas. He laughed at them. He was still laughing when they died. Cold as ice. You'll never tie Isham into this. You may rope Dutcher, but Isham can always hire a new gunslinger. I still think you're lying, Rep. I'm not lying. <laughs> I know. You're after Will Isham's hide. Well, why don't you ask him who shot down you, Clegg? That's what you want to know, ain't it? <laughs> ain't it? I should have shot Clegg. Ain't that right? Yeah. That's right. <laughs> All right, boys, thanks. Talk to Sino Aisham. I saw your man Rep tell Owen Merritt how you kill Clagg. They take Rep to town. Can we get to town by dawn? Sure. Then we'll beat him in. Wake up the boys. you expect to do that when Isham can't? Oh, Owen's all right then? Yes, but he was hurt. Well, then why did you leave him? I'm like your husband in one respect, Laurie. Half of something isn't enough. Get up. Get up. Looks like we beat him in. We'll see. I'll be up at the hotel. Put your mind at ease, Mr. Isham. This is like shooting crippled ducks in a barrel. All right, boys, spread out. Get out of sight. Ray, put these horses where they won't be seen. I smell something in this wind and sand that's not altogether the weather. Yeah. Howdy, Crocker. Hi. Set him up. Over here. I like the view. Sure got a lot of nervous people in this town. Yeah. And you're looking at one right now. Yeah. So you came here. Will, why are you in town? My men have an appointment to meet someone. Owen Merritt? Can't you stop now? Haven't you done enough to Owen already? You're giving yourself away, Laurie. Every time you mention his name, your voice goes soft. Your imagination makes you believe anything. A man who has your heart is a wonderful thing. But I haven't got it. Well, maybe there's hope for us yet. Maybe you can change. 
Would you keep on loving a man after he was dead? saw the funniest sight going down the street. Yeah? Old cart full of Mexicans, but they weren't Mexicans. No. And one of them had on a pair of fancy boots and spurs. Mm-hmm. Well, you know, Prine won them spurs and boots at a rifle shoot last July. How do you know? Well, I know because I was in it. Tried for it myself. Say, they had your man rep with them. Took him into the sheriff's office. He was all dressed up, too. Sign here. I never had nothing against you, Merritt, so I gotta tell you. Will Eichmann, that whole skull crew's in town. Looks like them coming. We know you're in there, Merritt, so come on out. Why don't you come in? That's just what we're gonna do. Don't! If we start that gang shooting, there'll be a lot of men killed for nothing. There are too many of them. Where's Eichel? At the hotel. Let me out the back way. Owen, they'll spot you. Let them come in when I get out. Owen, if there's gonna be gunplay between you and Eichel, there's one thing you gotta get clear in your head. If you're thinking of Laura, you'll be a dead man. My mind's clear. Open that door or we blow it down. All right, Toucher, I'm opening up. Where is it? Where's who? Don't give me that stuff for you if you came into this building and now there's only... You might as well quit, Dutcher. When Merritt gets hold of Isham at the hotel... Isham you... at the hotel? Killed the Bird Brothers and the way he shot down Hugh Clegg without a chance. Will. I don't blame you for killing Clegg. That I wanted to do myself. But you did. And Lee Rep's word can hang you for it. That I have already signed. I wouldn't. There's a way out for a price. If your price is her, I'll never pay it. I came to end trouble. Sell Skull and get out of the country. Sell out Skull? Please, Will, let's do it. Let's go away. You go away with me after all that's happened? You're my husband, Will. I made a bargain. I almost forgot that once. But I, I never will again. Well, Owen, you've won. But so have I. Don't touch it!
kept your bargain. Thanks. The skull's yours. Never sell it. No, I won't. Wait a minute, Merritt. I just quit working for Isham. We got nothing to fight about anymore. I've got plenty. Duke and George. Let her go, Dutcher. Oh, don't, please. Stay back. Would you? I could, you. I've got no gun. It would be murder. I was hoping that you'd try your luck. Head for the sheriff's office. Teach me. 